Morning everybody. Right, as promised, I'm going to do a quick review of this uh, Chinese Coleman copy. Uh, it's a multi-fuel stove. It's called the BRS-12A. Uh, it's been my main go-to stove for probably the last five years or so. As you can see, it's it's quite ugly looking. It's dirty and looks old. And it's, it's well used. Uh, the main features of this are that it will burn petrol, diesel, paraffin, anything like that. You can put turps in it. Uh, I believe it will take alcohol, although I've not tried alcohol in it. And you can actually connect it to a gas cylinder with an attachment, which I have not got with me at the moment. Okay, so basically this stove, it's got a bit of paraffin in it at the moment. It has to be primed. It has to be warmed up, first of all. This tube here, this tube has got to be heated up so that when you when you when you uh, when you open the tap, it lets the, the the fuel up the tube. When the tube's hot, it atomizes the fuel and turns it into a gas, which goes straight down the bottom, and then it comes up the center through the jet as a as a as a gas, if you like. Okay, so you have to build up the pressure in the tank first of all. You give it about twenty pumps on the handle which I've already done because I've only got one hand because I'm holding the phone. Okay, so open the legs, the the, uh, the pot stand, if you're not, not legs, only it sits on its legs. Okay, now to prime this thing, I don't know if you can see in this light, but you, you undo, undo the fuel tap and release some of the fuel into the bottom of the jet. If you can see it, okay, and at the base of the jet, there, it has um, fiberglass wicking, which which soaks up the fuel, and then you, you set light to you set light to it. Basically, it it burns off some of the paraffin with the fiberglass wicking, uh, which never seems to burn out. It's it's still the, the original wicking that came with it, uh, and then when it heats up the the tube. You open the fuel tap again, and Bob's your uncle. It fires up. Now, doing this indoors, I shouldn't do really, because paraffin's quite dirty and smoky, but we'll have a go and see what happens. Put the extractor on. Okay. Right, you know. Okay, just drop the match in there, and you'll see now that the paraffin will take hold. There you go, you can see it now starting to get round. Okay, just leave it like that for a minute, a few minutes. As so if you can see it now, a little tray at the bottom with the fiberglass wicking in it. You just love the smell of paraffin in the morning. Okay, that's that's a way that now that's I should heat that tube up within inside a few minutes, about two or three minutes maybe. Obviously the colder the temperature you have to give it a little bit longer, maybe a little bit more fuel to get it warmed up. Right, let's try that. Just open up the top a bit, see if it wants to burn up. Let's just try. No, it's not ready yet. Nearly. Let's 
getting there. Close it off, try that again in a minute, not long enough. It's a bit of a faff, uh, but once it's going, it's great. Probably benefit with the jet being cleaned out as well. Basically, there you go, it's um, spitting a little bit, if you do with that jet being cleaned out, uh, it's not being done for quite a while, uh, but there you go, you can see how hot it is in the middle there, how hot that gets. Uh, boil times on this stove, absolutely fantastic, uh, very similar to jet boil, in fact, really, really fast stove, really reliable, bit of a faff, as I say, but the beauties of it are, it'll burn virtually anything you want to put in it. Okay, any questions? Feel free to give me a, give me a call. Okay, you can actually turn this down as well. You can simmer. So there you go. You can simmer. You can simmer food on it. You know, you can you can prepare a meal and turn it down and simmer it. All right, and then obviously when you finish with it, you just turn it off. Take a minute to, to get rid of the excess fuel. And there you go. As I say, guys, any questions, feel free to send me a message. Thanks a lot for watching.